When Elementor was first launched, it used to have a lot of excess code, which would make it fairly slow. They've done massive amount of work on this to reduce the amount of code being loaded across the site. So now, the only code that is loaded on a page is what is used on a page. And that's just brilliant. And that's what makes Elementor fast because you can control what goes on the page, which means you can control the code being loaded, which controls the speed. The thing is though, there are some things in Elementor that you might not be able to tweak or remove. However, Elementor keeps bringing out new experiments and you'll see in one of the other modules how to actually activate those to actually remove excess code and make Elementor as fast and as lean as possible. There are times though when you want to manually remove code, especially from other plugins other than Elementor. A great little tool to use is called Perf Matters. It's a brilliant tool. You can get it from getus.at slash perfmatters. It's a paid tool, but a very, very, very good tool and very well built. If you want a free version of a similar tool, you can use something called Asset Cleanup. This is a very good tool, but the interface is not as nice, but it's still a very good tool. Let's have a look now at Perf Matters in action so you can see what type of work it does and how you can actually use it. The way Perf Matters is set up, it has something called a script manager. This allows you to actually edit the scripts on every individual page of your site. Notice here that we're in testing mode. That means that any changes you make are only visible to people who are logged in as an admin. We'll come on to soon of how to actually switch this onto live mode. As we can see here down the page, it lists all the different scripts that are actually loaded on this page and you can switch them off or on. And then notice you can actually choose the location where they're off and on. So for example, Elementor Web CLI is actually switched off everywhere on the site. But there are other options like the current URL, post pages, landing page, my templates, and so on. You can also change the settings for different users or different devices. And of course, you've got a regex, which is basically a special programmed entry at the bottom. It displays the types, in this case, JavaScript, and the size, 161.6 kilobytes. As we scroll down, you can see all the different resources and requests that are loaded for this just single page. Now, right now, we're looking at the home page. In the different sections, you can see the size of the different sections. So the Smart Post Show is 229.5 kilobytes. So as you can see here, if you add all these up, that gives you your size of that section. There's a lot of scripts here that are actually loaded. And of course, any changes you make, click on Save. Let's now have a look at that one that is switched off at the moment, which is the Elementor Web CLI, and it's switched off as everywhere. If we click on the global view here on the left, we can see everything that is switched off globally, as in everywhere, and there it is. Let's go into settings now on the left, and let's have a look about where that testing option is actually switched on and switched off. So there it is. So right now, it's switched on. So right now, it's switched off. So that means that everything is live. As soon as you click on save, the settings are live to the world. So now we understand that the script manager allows you to change the settings on an individual page. There are global settings as well. If we come into the dashboard, go scroll down, go into settings and go into perf matters. This will take you into the global settings. As you can see here, you've got a menu up the top here. You've got the options tools, license support menu at the very top. And down here, are all the options that are actually affecting the whole site, and you can switch them on or off. And you can get a help very easily from the question mark. If you click the question mark rather than just mouse over it, it will actually take you to a fully documented site, which gives you a tremendous amount of further information. Let me close that down. So let's scroll down here. You can see all the different settings right now. They're all active on this site. These are a great set of settings and it just cleans up a lot of clutter on your site as well as has some very positive speed benefits in most cases. Let's have a look at the assets now. And this is where we actually switch the script manager on or off. By default, it is off. So if you do not see a script manager option on the menu when you open up a page or a post, then you need to come into the assets area here and switch it on. You've got a lot of other options in here now global options, you've got preloading options, 
What I tend to do is leave WP Rocket, or if I'm using Flying Press, I leave those to actually manage a lot of these settings, the preloading and the lazy loading. The fonts though, I tend to control here in Perf Matters. You've also got CDN options and Google Analytics options. I recommend you set up your Google Analytics in here rather than adding an extra plugin to manage your Google Analytics. And if you do have a CDN, you can set up your CDN options in here. So that's really cool, isn't it? Remember, using a tool like Perth Matters, you really should be using a staging site, a staging server, because this can break your live site. There is a test mode, which is highly recommended, but do remember once you switch on live, you're gonna to have to do thorough testing, which you really should do on a staging server first.